Today we are going to be continuing on in our Tara West booklets. Okay, so that's this one. And we are going to be working on lesson 2.3, which is working with decomposing numbers, which we kind of started with doing yesterday. Okay, so our statement for today is, I can decompose a two digit number into tens and ones to help with addition. Okay, now, anybody know what this is? If you said that this is a number bond, you are correct. So today we're going to be using something called the number bond to help us decompose our number into tens and ones. Okay? We use our number bond to help us break one number down into two parts. So we have one whole number here and we break it down into parts down at the bottom bubble. Okay? So we are going to use this number bond to help us solve the problem 26 plus 3. Now, when I'm using a number bond, I want to use the biggest number first, especially when in today's lessons, okay? So I have 26 plus 3, and I know that 26 is my bigger number, okay? So I'm going to put the number 26 in my top circle of my number bond. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose my number. When we hear the word decompose, it means to break something down, okay? So we're gonna break our number 26 down into tens and ones. I know that my number 26 has two tens and six ones. Two tens, remember we can write that as 20. So, the number 26 can be broken down into 20 plus 6, okay? So now we're going to do 26 plus 3, but we're going to do it like this, 20 plus 6 plus 3. Now it's way easier for me to add because I'm going to start with my 1s, because anytime I'm adding anything with a two-digit number in it, I'm always going to start with the 1s. So I have three ones and six ones. Hmm. Three ones and six ones. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I have nine ones. And how many tens do I have? Two or 20. So now I have 20 plus nine equals 29. Okay, so we decompose the number 26 into 20 plus six. And now we have 20 plus 6 plus 3. Let's try another one. All right, we have 43 plus 5. We are going to put our biggest number into our number bond, 43. And then we're going to decompose that number into tens and ones. Tens, there are four tens and three ones. So I know that four tens is the same thing as 40 and three ones is three. So 40 plus three, and then I'm gonna bring down my ones from up here. So now, instead of 43 plus five, I have 40 plus three plus five. I'm gonna start off by doing these two numbers. Three plus five gives me eight, and now I have 40 plus eight, which equals 48. All right, let's try another one. 37 plus 2. Remember, we put this big number in our number bond, and then we decompose. 37 is the same thing as 3 tens, which I know equals 30, plus 7. And then I'm also going to add my 2. 30 plus 7 plus 2. Now I know 7 plus 2 equals 7, 8, 9. And we're going to add 30 plus 9 equals 39. All right, if you have a whiteboard handy, I'm going to let you try this one. 51 plus 8, okay? I want you to try the problem 51 plus 8, okay? You can draw yourself a number bond, break it down, and see what the number equals. If you 
you're not finished yet, that is 100% okay. I want you to pause your video until you are and then come on back. 51, I know that I'm going to put that number in my number bond and I'm going to break it down into 10, 5, 10 equals 50 and 1. Then I'm going to continue adding my 1's from up here. 1 plus 8 equals 9. 50 plus 9 equals 59. Very good job, guys. Okay, so for today, you are going to want to use one of your old sheet protectors or whatever you used um, last time we were using it. But you're because you're going to want to have this page in a sheet protector so that you can do more than one problem. You can do it over and over. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to spin to find out what your biggest number is going to be. And then you're going to spin again to find out what number you're going to add here. Okay. Step one, spin. And you're going to put your biggest number in the top part of your number bond, remember? Then you're going to break it down and put the second spin right here. Okay. You can do that as many times as you would like until you're comfortable with putting numbers into those number bonds to break them down. When you're finished with that, you have one page to do in your Tara West booklet. Remember, we're working on lesson 2.3, and it should look like this. Okay, I cannot wait to see how awesome you guys do, and I will see you in math groups in just a little while.